Mindset for Greatness. Life-changing transformation coach Anthony L. Williams teaches you how to quickly remove the unconscious blocks that are putting up resistance to your goals and your creations. Step through the door to your superconscious and never look back.
called life? Do you even appreciate it? Do you have gratitude for it? They call it life. So when we look at, when you go back far enough, there was just one continent. And they can prove New York was attached to Africa. So at one point, it was just big, one big continent. And all black people was on that continent. And over the millions of years, it divided. And we were on, on all places. And at some point, then we named ourselves. And that's why they say that we use um, English like the sub-Saharan African Bantu. You know what I mean? They try to say that our English is not standard, but it's not. We use English just like we, if we were using an African language or if we were using a traditional in, indigenous language. We use it the same. All the clicks. One word can mean 15 different things. Our, our, our language always evolved. You know, I can be around some of her kids and don't know what they're talking about anymore because it evolved. You know what I mean? We don't have no standard English, but we use it like sub saharan African. So at some point, we were building pyramids and mounds all over the continent. You know what I mean? We we did math. You know what I mean? If you go up to Carterville, those pyramids, three pyramids, match the ones in the three pyramids in Giza, and they tell you the same time of year during the equinox. You know, they take both from here. Or if you go up there on the first full moon in January, uh, up in Carterville, Georgia, the pyramid A up there, the full moon always rises out of it. And it's been rising out of it for over 10,000 years, you know, like that. So we've always known our history. At some point, they just kind of lied and dumbed us down through whipping and punishment or whatever, or daring us to not even speak our language. Because my great-grandmother didn't speak English, you know what I mean? On my mother's side, um, it's more Blackfoot and Washita, but on my father's side, it's, it's Choctaw. You know, like that. And then somehow, mysteriously, her middle name was named after my daddy's mother. But our daddy never told us her, it's not her name. We didn't know her name. They just said, I woke up one day and said, name that baby Rose. Right? And so her middle name, her American middle name is Stormy Rose. Her indigenous name is Stefani Mutu Il. Because she's an ill like me. You know, so to me it seems like now we're walking on our ancestors' blood. And so you're starting to see a transformation of who we are. Like we're becoming more what they call psychic or magical, which is really a lie because really it's our DNA activating, which they call the junk DNA. And you're seeing us having conversations to make, to lift each other up, where you can spend all day now talking to somebody that talks about their gift or what they see or maybe they were supposed to call you you know what i mean and, and as we continue to progress forward into the age of aquarius then you're going to see more and more of that mm -hmm. you know what i mean me i like to specialize in like making sure you listen for it in your children you know what i mean because you want to make sure that they know every day that that's just some natural shit. you know what i mean what they do and so you look especially like their dreams because our government still tries to torment our kids, you know, through their dreams. And then you'll wonder why, why the white kid ain't afraid of the snake, but black kids are naturally afraid of something. That's 
do their dark magic on our family, our kids, you know, or, you know, like you hear the thing about the monkey riding the back. We all heard about it where you lock your body, you can't yell or scream. Yeah. You know, that's some dark, dark magic in some ways. And I know Deborah Blair says something different, but to me, it's kind of dark because they're trying to lock What did Deborah Blair say? He said you were coming back in your body. Uh, I so think I heard him say that. You know, I had him on the show like four times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and he, I Baba think Dad. I remember him saying that. Yeah. You're coming back I into your body. I think some instances that's true because I've experienced that. You yeah. have? Well, yeah. I can feel my, in, my, my, huh? my, my, my spirit coming back into my body and I can't yeah. move. Mm -hmm. And then I've had instances where I wake up and I can't move and I see, the, I see a tall black figure right there with a dark hat with red eyes mm -hmm. and I was jumping I was trying to jump up to fight him get out because I thought somebody was in the house and I couldn't get out the bed and then once he walked down the stairs I jumped out the bed and I looked and nobody was there I ran <laughs> so I've, I've experienced that but some of both are true like the, when you see the shadow people he's trying to call usually if they try to enter they try to enter on your armpit mm -hmm. like he just he knew he probably knew that you weren't totally locked yeah. So then he wasn't going to take that chance. Because I sleep with my protection on. So yeah. he couldn't. And we got protection in our room, so he couldn't enter yeah. the room. Yeah. He was stuck at the door. Yeah. So he just stopped and took off. And so when it comes to like our land, I, I was with some people the other day, last week, that we looked like if we could get like 25 strong black women to do a trust, we could claim more land. Mm -hmm. Because. Um, their land was because a white man from French came in and married the grandmother. Mm -hmm. Or you heard the story of Pocahontas. Mm -hmm. The white people was actually marrying the indigenous woman because the woman had the land. Mm -hmm. you know, Same like thing they do in Africa. Was, and, and the white man has never not titled it that way. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go back to my day, you know, when you apply for credit, they wanted to know your mama name. They always wanted to know because they were following and tracking you through credit. So they wanted to know your mother's indigenous name or her maiden name. You know, the application, they always wanted to know that maiden name. So, you know, and somehow they didn't got so corrupt that they kind of changed it away from You it. know that they're not trying to circumvent, you know, y'all indigenous right. It's kind of like what Noble Juali said about one day when we wake up, we understand what was done. Right. And what was done was they basically just put America in a trust. But they've never said that they're the grantor the indigenous woman. All of y'all from all the tribes, y'all still have the Lodeo title to it. You know, y'all indigenous right. It's kind of like what Noble Ju Ali said about one day when we wake up, we understand what was done. Right. And what was done was they basically just put America in a trust. But they've never said that they're the grantor, the indigenous woman. All of y'all from all the tribes, y'all still have the Lodeo title to it. Mm. You know what I mean? Like that. It's just We've never like sit down and really expressed that this is our land through trust law. You see what I mean like that? And the name of that trust is in God we trust. So they show you on every coin that that's the trust when they took it. You know, it was like Tam and I was up there talking to the white man at the mound. He was talking about how the creek owned this land for one day, for a long period of time, like 180 years, right? But the creek didn't know, told them they didn't know who built the mound. You see what I mean? And then there's history of our indigenous ancestors on Africa and in the Americas that remember a time when there wasn't a moon. Mm -hmm. See, so we've been around a long, long time. Because I kept seeing a lot of trees, a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I knew I could feel the energy. Mm -hmm. But um, the important thing for us to do is take back what is rightfully ours because they took it. Can y'all ima imagine looking at all this land and somebody telling you, you have to buy it? Who are you to tell me I got to buy this land? You don't own this right here. Right. Mother owns this, right. you know what I mean? Right. And let me don't connect with nature. We don't have a tree. We have lost connection with the very thing that is a part of us. So it's very important that we actually start really getting serious about coming back to nature. You know, they went camping last night. Who you think you are, you see? And these are the things that the spirit will communicate about. Guess what? To come out here, rise them up. Cause I see him, I see him here. Those who will see us, I think Candy Rain. You seen some running around, right? I see them running around. Those may, by, may not be spiritual like that. You probably see them because you could see. You, you see who could see. Right. To set forth the bonds. Right. When we do that, 
the energy is almost like I already saw it. The energy from all of us that's doing it in the sequence, doing it together, is what's going to rise up for our bonds to come free for us. Okay, okay. Just like that. But it's like we have to be on agreement, on the same page. Right. Mm -hmm. On the same vibrational energy, yep. everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like Anybody want to say anything else? Y'all got some questions? Yeah, but on, I want to add one more thing, man. Because uh -huh. I, I had a spirit, a female spirit come into my room about three years ago, and she told me her name was Charlotte Coleman, right? Mm -hmm. So I did the research on her. And I found her Supreme Court case in the state of Missouri. Mm -hmm. And in that case, she won the case because they, the judge basically said that they couldn't even evict a black woman. Really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I wow. found the case. It was deep, too, because I did some research. I'm like, Charlotte, but I'm saying Charlotte, you know. Mm -hmm. And then when I did found the research, I found it. It wasn't somewhere where I would go at, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I was sitting in my car, I want to say on Resurrection Day. Mm -hmm. and heard like maybe 18 shots and just turn around and looked in my mirror and seen it. You know, like seeing a guy getting shot, seeing him dropping, seeing other people going, doing, they doing whatever. And I'm just, you know, for like first two days I was kind of took, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm like, why, why did you need for me to see that? Mm -hmm. Why? That I realized, because even when I first started coming in, mm -hmm. all I kept hearing them telling me is, heal the land see? but you yeah. are here to heal the land mm -hmm. and that's all I can and I'm like well I'm not it's just me mm -hmm. you know so you know like it wasn't until when all this happened and I gathered up all this anger mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and hurt and frustration mm -hmm. it wasn't until like going through it that I realized okay I'm here to heal this place mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so but I, you know it's not something I can do alone mm -hmm. so I know that I'm have to bring forth so I felt more so like I was drawn to be here. Right. I was telling you that even before I came here, I know this was a reset for me. Yeah. yeah. Because this came like right after all of that. It was right. almost, it was, I, I really want to say like a couple of days before I left, like wow. about a week before I left. Mm -hmm. It was like all of that. And it was just like rising up in me. So when I came to Carolinas, it was like everything just left. Mm. It was like everything just left the peace, the serene, everything, even camping being in the forest like you really need to hug a tree right yeah. like i'm just telling you and in fact go further with just hugging a tree yeah. you know not to be switching the subject i understand that that's the reason why i've been sent there because i'm i'm to heal the land right you know right. but like i'm gonna I'm I'm just go there and say mm -hmm. when i hug a tree mm -hmm. i don't just hug and say mm, tree. no i see my energy mm -hmm. coming from me going into the tree seeing it going down into the roots deep into the roots especially when I'm by water mm -hmm. I make the roots go all the way down to where the, where the water end and begin mm -hmm. and I have it go all the way across to the other side and I can see it mm -hmm. and I just take as my roots go down and as I pull my energy into the tree I see the energy giving back and you'll feel it Yeah, you feel you'll it. feel it, it changes yeah. your heartbeat like your, your whole body, your toes, your fingers, mm -hmm. everything, your head. Like, you can really fit. And there's so many of us out here that's gifted and just don't know. I'm sorry, it. Deborah. Deborah came to me to get a reading, mm -hmm. right? About somebody. You know, I won't tell the whole story, but right, about okay. somebody. And end up having to, ancestors end up having to help me heal her. I'm, I'm going to say I'm recovered from stage four breast cancer. I'm just going through the motion now. Uh, I, I think, uh, well, I know it wasn't for the end for me. I just think God needs me to go into a different direction. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to let me jump up and dance again. Yeah. <laughs> so she, and it was funny because I had, when I met her, I'm, I had a bottle of bird I bought in my purse. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And I said, you didn't come here for, um, you didn't come here for uh, that that question. You came here for me to give you something to help heal you, mm -hmm. right? So I had a half a bottle of burger. I said, "Here, take this." And she had already, she had already went through her chemo, well, chemo and stuff like that. Radiation. Yes. She had went through radiation and stuff, but I didn't know her before then because then we could have helped her. But I gave her a half a bottle of burger. She went. You took it, right? You still I took taking it? I'm still and taking it. She yeah. went back to the doctors, and what happened? Well, um, I could tell the doctor what was wrong with telling the, the improvement because the lump in my breast had actually shrunk. 
one one is gone and the other I could just feel it breaking up breaking apart and is and even worse it metastasized throughout her body well it was in my spine right in her spine in my spine and that's how because I, I lost control of my legs that's the only symptom and uh, they had to the doctor went in to just take the pressure off my spine but he was able to remove a lot of the, the cancerous lump. And um, I was paralyzed, but I'm just the type that won't give in to that. I was just, it mostly at the bottom of your back? No. The, 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 oh, your spine uh, I'm at? Yeah, right in, right in the mm -hmm. upper part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? So, it's truly, a, you see how I'm saying, and this is just the works of the hand Basically, uh, what I did was do, I, I had some water, does somebody wanna? And then what's in the water is a, a little short story. I, I was looking at, um, it's called a coronal spider. Uh -huh. And it lives in the desert. Mm -hmm. And so because of the, the sand and the wind, it can't string its web. So what it does is it brings quartz crystal around his holes and it puts his web on the quartz. Oh, wow. And so anything that crawls on the quartz, mm -hmm. it goes down the web and it tells the spider, yo, there's an ant, right? You know, so what I did was, I got some water, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, if we want to use it to help us blow, because sometimes you always don't get out. And then I got a little coarse point in it. And then I got what they call uh, Galena. Mm -hmm. And Galena, they use a radio so only voice can go through. So it shuts out background noise, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So then you blow in the water, your 23rd song, and then you ask them to come forth by day. And then it's going to transmit, and the course is going to put it in the water, it's going to put it wherever to go out yeah. into the atmosphere. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like that. So, so what, why don't you put, you pour it on the, after you After you're it? done, you can pour it out. Or if you want to pass it, then it's cool. You know what I mean? Like that. <laughs> and it's the 23rd sun. Like, you go like, you, you can think it, you can focus it, your energy. If you use your eyes closed, just try to focus on one spot. And then it's just the 23rd sun. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down the green pasture. He leads me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leads me in the pasture right to the for his name's sake. You remember? Or you want me to say it? Yeah, I want yeah. you to say it because I'll okay. have uh, Adding to reverberate on the earth. Because they're buried in the earth. One I pulled, he was. I heard the chains. So sometimes we got to make sure we put enough energy to reverberate. So the hence. You know, you know what water does is elemental, and then the galena in the water is gonna let your voice go through, and the quartz is gonna make it radiate throughout the earth, period, like that. Okay, and you can do it, or you can just do it like put the quartz in your mouth, you know, like that, and then just speak to your ancestors. Well, I want to repeat you. I want to do it. Like okay, so cool. Let me repeat you so I can say right, in the class. Everybody needs to blow in it after that. Yeah, you can blow in it. Yeah. Okay. okay. He's like, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not run. I shall not run. He makes me lie down the green pasture. He makes me lie down the green pasture. He leads me beside the still water. He leads me beside the still water. She restores my soul. She restores my soul. She leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. She leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, do I walk in the valley of shadow of death. Yea, do I walk in the valley of shadow of death. I shall fear no evil. I shall fear no evil. For my yacht is with me. My rod and my staff, they comfort me. My rod and my staff, they comfort me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of my forever. And I will dwell in the house of my forever. Awake thus that sleep and rise from the dead and seek you shall give thee light. Awake us sleep. Who else would you say? And rise from the dead. And rise, and rise from, from the, the dead. dead. And then say your name shall give it life. Deborah shall give it life. Right. Your well, name shall give it life. And then blow. I think we're going to solve shall give okay. it life. Everybody Awake thus that sleep. And rise from the dead. And he seek you shall give thee life. <laughs> Awake thus that sleep. And rise from the dead. And he seek you shall give thee life. Y'all could just blow in it. I said it for y'all. <laughs> yeah.
like that. And then at that point, then you call your ancestor. Like I'm trying to raise this copper ancestor that's around the land. Really? Yeah. Okay. So then I start calling him. You gotta take a drink. Like that. And I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm about to drink. So. All right. So I'm, I'm call, we gonna call on all the um the creek. Yes. Okay. We're gonna call on all the creek and the um Cherokee because this is the biggest tribes in Georgia. And if you wanna call in your personal tribes or whatever tribe, y'all can call them too. So I'm calling on all the Cherokee and all the Creek Indians to rise up. Rise up, motherland. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. <laughs> What's ours? Go ahead. So it's time for us to start taking time for yourself. You know what I mean? And, and our sister, my sister, y'all need to know, y'all got to rise up the energy because we're very powerful. It, it's it, it's going to be us that's going to make the change of the vibration on this earth. Like, brother, you see the set on, on many levels. But every one of y'all, y'all need to start doing this and, and taking time for yourselves. Anybody got any questions? So we're asking all the American Indian ancestors to rise up. We're asking that you rise, ancestors. We're asking that you rise, ancestors. We're asking that you rise, ancestors. We're asking that you rise. Deborah, you want to get? You want it done? Oh, I want her to get it done. I just feel like she, her right there. Mama, mm -hmm.